And the whole world just got their first sighting of the BMF boss himself, Big Meech, man. A lot of people out there showing him love. But there's also a lot of unsavory characters out here, man, you know, trying to kick dirt up on his name, you know what I'm saying? You know, so it's safe to say that it's a lot of people out here that's not so happy to see Big Meech right now, you know? A lot of folks is running campaigns on his name, you know what I mean? Saying the man is, uh, you know, is an informant. Or, or, or he had some type of informant activities going on behind the wall. And that's the reason his time got cut, you know what I'm saying? Um, there has been some speculatory evidence, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that would raise anybody's eyebrow, you know what I mean? But until it's like, you know, in writing, or, or put on paper that he has some dealings with this dude named Cuffy being told on. Uh, right now, it's just, uh, I can't say hearsay, man, but it's not concrete that Big Meats actually had something to do with it. It's more or less this female, you know what I'm saying, uh, which I'm not going to speak on this female. Um, what I will tell you about is that Big Meats uh, allegedly met her while he was in prison. You know what I mean? She may have been somewhat of a fan of Big Meats and, and uh, she was able to get in contact with him, you know, while he was doing his time, you know? And uh, that's how they sparked their relationship. Now, rule number one for me, man, is you never invite a female into street business. You know what I mean? That's always been a pet peeve of mine. Seeing dudes with females around, you know, while they handling business, you know, street business and all that, and letting them see everything, you know, having them around, you know, basically, you know, making them aware of all the illegal activity that's transpiring, you know what I mean? If you had a female around, you know what I'm saying, we just had to, you know, we had to reschedule, you know. We're gonna talk about the Giants and the Cowboys, man. Yeah, we ain't finna talk no street business around no female, man. You know, it's all Giants and Cowboys and Lakers and, 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 and Celtics, man, you feel me? You know, we, we ain't finna do that. You know, I, I, I never played that game. Uh, it never sat well with me. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's a downfall for a lot of organizations, man. You know, there's always some uh, female in the middle of it, you know what I mean, uh, of a downfall of of, uh, of of an organization, a street organization, you know what I'm saying, of any kind, whether it's gangs, drugs, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's always uh, a female that lies in the middle of their demise. But anyway, man, you know, y'all here for a certain reason. You know what I'm saying? I made this video for a certain reason, so let's get into it. You know what I mean? You know, Big Meech is home, man. And, and, and like I said, man, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of love. It's a lot of hate also. You know what I mean? Um, I don't, I don't make it my business to uh, go over no one's paperwork on this channel. I don't do that. That's not what I do. Um, you got a lot of um, outlets on, on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, that do that. Even the little Woody video that I made, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I don't, you know, I'm not a rat killer, you know, I'm not out here exterminating rats. You know, I come from the old school, man, you know, if you are going to uh, expose a rat, you know what I'm saying, it then, the duty of the extermination of the rat lies on you, so... If you out here exposing rats, you know what I'm saying, in my opinion, man, you know what I'm saying, it's your duty to uh, to bring harm to them, you know what I mean? That's just always how I thought it was supposed to be and how you dealt with rats, you know what I'm saying? You know, when I was coming up and we heard somebody was hot, we just stayed away from them, you know what I'm saying? If they were 
outsiders, you know what I mean? Now, if you got rats in your in your crew, it's y'all job to uh, to handle that, you know what I mean? It's y'all job. It, it, it lies on y'all because if y'all are uh, allowing a rat to still exist, you know what I'm saying, around y'all and, 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 to, and to be able to tarnish other neighborhoods and other people out here that's doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, then, then y'all are, are, are to be held accountable as well. You know, you might as well be a rat yourself. Uh, but you know, no, nobody's nobody's in these shoes, man. You know, nobody's in these shoes. I'm not Big Meech. I'm not the dude Cuffy. I'm not none of these players in the game. So it's hard for me to kind of give my take on it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just say this: if, if if Big Meech turns out to legitimately be a rat, then that's what he is. You know what I'm saying? Um, it does it affect me? No. You know what I'm saying? Uh, would that change uh, how I view his legacy? Yes, it does. I'm gonna be honest because BMF was so strong, you know, uh, in the 2000s. You know what I'm saying? It was so strong, and 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 the people was looking at them like the mafia. You know what I'm saying? Like the real mafia, man. You know, it it was kind of uh, it was kind of something to to rally behind. You know, as a black person. You know what I'm saying? As a black man in America, to see somebody that powerful. And uh, having that much money, you know what I'm saying, and not just be uh, a hood, like hood rich. The dude was like Fortune 500 rich, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I know, you know, we heard of Frank Lucas and Nicky Barnes and, and uh, you know, Frank Matthews and, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the other players from New York and the West Coast, you know. You got Rick, uh, uh, Rick Ross, you got the guys up in the Bay, you know what I'm saying, a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of big players, man, you know, East, West, North, and South, but but it just didn't feel like that big meat thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm not from the 70s, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't tell you how it felt when Frank Lucas and Frank Matthews and them dudes was running Harlem and running New York and, and going from here to there, you know, Vegas and L.A. and all this stuff. I couldn't tell you, but the magnitude that big meats had, man, was just, man, it, it, it was... It was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? You had to, you had to literally be, to be, to be there, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm not just saying I was there because I, I, I'm not putting myself around there. You feel what I'm saying? Like I won't dare. You feel me? But just the impact it had, man. You know what I'm saying? From, 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 from not only just the, the South perspective, man. Not just Detroit, the South, man, but the East Coast and the West, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it was a powerful impact, man. You know. It was like when Big Meech, man, you know, hit the scene, bro. It was like an asteroid. Boom! You know what I mean? Like, you know, just just an aura, man. You feel me? You know, somebody like that existing, man, you know, in, 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 in real time, you know. Wasn't no stories, man. Dude was putting on in real time, you know, going to video shoots with Jay-Z, pulling up in two Maybachs, my Jay-Z in one. Man, and, I, and I see people that said, man, you know, Jay-Z won that war, which he did, you know, to a certain degree, you know what I'm saying? Because Jay-Z went on to become a billionaire, you know what I'm saying? You know, his wife is Beyonce, you know, them put their money together, shit, there's some astronomical figures, man. I don't, I don't even think they count their money no more, you know what I'm saying? You know, Big Meech, you know, he probably, you know, seen close to a B, you know what I'm saying? Just from the streets, man, and that, that that's, that's saying something, man, you know? Um, for for a black person anyway, you know a nigga, you know what I mean, a, a, a Negro, you know what I mean, uh, not 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 El Chapo, you know El Chapo and and uh, you know Pablo Escobar, we know they seen billions of dollars, man, but you know they they supplied that shit, so of course they're gonna see the lion's share of the money because they are the suppliers. You feel me? They manufacture the shit. That's why when people go to tie in with the cartels and all that, you know, they looking for that flat rate, you know what I'm saying? They looking for the low, the low price, you know what I'm saying? That cheat that 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 player price, you know what I'm saying? They looking for that, you know what I mean? Because that's the source where it come from. So of course you're gonna get it cheaper. And uh uh you know, you buy low and sell high. You know what I mean? That's what it, that's what happens when it gets to the States, man. It gets stepped on, it get moved from here to there to everywhere. All the little city, the major cities, the smaller cities, the small towns, the you know, all the way to the trailer parks, you know what I mean? And the mountains, you know what I mean? It go that's how the, that's how the game go. And that's what drives the price up, you know what I'm saying? You know, from 
from player to player. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make this. You trying to make that. And then you got somebody that's trying to make a little something to do a little something. You know what I mean? That's just how it go. So, you know, uh, Big Meech, man, just having somebody out like that, man, at the time, man, you know, it, it, it was, uh, man, it was powerful, man, you know, for, for young black men out here, man, that was, you know, trying to make a dollar, man, and trying to make it out of the trenches, man, you know, I can't, you know, I can't say it was right, though, you know, I'm not, I'm not advocating uh, for, for any, you know, illegal, um, uh, legal activities, man. You know, I'm not advocating for that because I want kids now, man. The street's dead. I want y'all to know that. You know what I'm saying? The streets is done. Uh, it's still people out here actively, you know, doing what they do and, and, and still getting to it, man. But for me, man, just for me, from my vantage point, it's dead on my end. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got no desire to even entertain, you know what I'm saying, the aspect of the streets. You know what I mean? So... I just don't, I don't feel it. I be, I still be out, you know what I'm saying? I just don't feel it. I don't, I don't feel the oral, man. You know what I mean? It's not like, you know, just cause I'm old, cause I could be the age I am now and still be out here doing what, you know, what, what the young guys doing and still, you know, be able to feel it. But I see it, you know what I mean? Every day and it just don't, it just ain't got that feeling to me no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you know, I, I know what I know. You know what I'm saying? You know what you know, man. You know, basically, you know what you know. But you know, like I say, y'all, you know, uh, you know, Big Me's getting a lot of love and he's getting a lot of hate, man. So, you know, y'all probably seeing the same thing I'm saying, you know, trying to connect the dots, see what's what, uh, waiting to see if anything comes out or materializes from the situation. Uh, the man almost 60, man. Well, he, he basically tongue kissing 60 right now, you know, no, no ditty, man. You know what I mean? He's... He's of age right now where, you know, it's not going to be a lot of partying. It's not going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, you're not going to see a lot of big meets in the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? You're probably going to, you're probably going to want to reconnect somewhat, somehow with Detroit and Atlanta and all that. But for the most part, man, you know, that, that part of that legacy, man, it, it lives on TV now. You know what I'm saying? That's where y'all going to catch it at for the most part, you know, because big meets would be a damn fool, man, to come out here and try to you know, rejuvenate his career, you know what I mean? You know, so to speak. If you're new to the channel, man, you know what to do, man. Punch that like button and punch that subscribe button for your dog one time, man, you know. And, uh, you know, leave a comment, man, if something resonate with you, man, you know. But until next time, man, it's your big dog thump and I'm gone.